Okay, I'm gonna go get changed into something which I can go in this bath in. I don't know why I'm doing this. But if you guys are able to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, so let's just do it. How can this shit be worse than I expected? I went in wanting to get scammed, and I'm disappointed. What what the fuck is this? So I was supposed to make an actual original video, but uh, the footage got corrupted. So instead of making something actually that's not a clickbait commentary, I'm just gonna make a video about me bullying children. I thought that the mental capacity of children. I want to say that the star from Derv, but everything Derv did was stolen from someone else, and his channel is deleted. So let's just pretend that any of these other people who are basically the same thing started it. These videos used to be just some harmless cancer. It was stuff like calling Spongebob, he answered OMG. Calling the boss baby, he answered OMG. The asterisk and the OMG are where the views come from. These videos used to be pretty small. No one really cared. All these derf seemed to do them. Then this evolved or devolved. I mean, you can't really go any lower than rock bottom. The 3 a.m. challenges were, well, I don't really need to explain what they were, it's in the title. You do something after 3 a.m. or at 3 a.m. The OMG So Scary videos came in, but uh, no one remembers those. That That's a good thing, thank God. So Derv being terminated created a big vacuum for the uh, 10 year old Zoomer generation. So everyone, including people who were like three times the age of them, jumped on that train, then fucked off when the money stopped rolling in. But some of the truly dedicated people decided to stay in this dead trend because they are actually mentally insane. YouTube loves it very much. I mean, even though it's not content, it's 10 minutes and uh, has high engagement rates because all of them pretty much follow the same format of having a giveaway at the beginning, asking people and begging them to subscribe and like and stuff before the video has even started, you know, before you even know if you're going to like the person's content. Wanna join my free gift card giveaway? Then subscribe to my channel, like the video, and turn notifications on. And finally, tell me in the comment section below. Try to write a script without bitching about YouTube. And then I remember I don't have monetization enabled because the entire Chinese population hasn't watched my fucking videos. All these YouTubers bitching about monetization, man. At least you guys can buy a loaf of bread, all right? I ironically ate cup ramen before filming this fucking video. I'm sorry, my commentary channel sense is kicked in. I had a chance to diss YouTube, so I pretty much had to. So. You're sitting there, you have a YouTube channel, it's dying, you want to make some sweet, sweet ad revenue. But how do you do that? Because you are actually human scum and you have no creativity. Well, you take all these three things combined. So you take challenges from Vine compilations, you take the remnants of whatever the fuck is from Derv's dead channel, and you take something darker. But we're not going to talk about that right now, right? Now you probably think that I'm over exaggerating when I say this is the worst ship to exist and a crawl from the abyss that was Derv. But let me warn you now, three out of the five people who watch these types of videos experience so much cancer, they start growing tumors and die on the spot. Did I make that statistic up for comedic effect? Maybe. Wow, they're actually, I mean, they're putting Ruby Room in the title. I mean, I, I was I was making a joke when I said they combined the actual, everything under the sun they put in the title. Holy shit, this is worse than I thought. The victim that I'm going to be bullying in this video, Jordan Houston. To be honest, I never fucking heard about this guy before, so. Amazing first impression. He has videos actually hating on Ruby Yube, which is good, saying your videos are fake. But just before this, he has uploaded videos, you know, like hers. So that's fucking interesting. Yo! Guys, and welcome back to a new video on the channel, guys. Today I'm here with joining my friend Ozzy, and guys, today we are doing a 3 a.m. video. That was so cringe. So the video started, and I already want to fucking stop. You got like the fucking bape on, and he said the video idea is cringe. So he is self-aware, right? The description says it's a parody even, so there's no indication for that anywhere else because all the 12 year olds who look this video up probably think this shit is real. But who knows? Maybe he's making a 10 minute commentary video taking the piss out of Ruby Rube or something. I mean, there's no way he would title a video like this and say that shit and just do the video normally, right? 3am videos, go ahead and leave a like and drop a comment saying 3am and I reply to so many of you guys this episode. Also, I'm sorry I could not get a giveaway for this video. I have ordered an iPhone though, so the next video I'll be able to actually do a giveaway. I want to do a giveaway every single video but unfortunately this is the one exception i'm gonna try and do i'm sorry okay so we have a giveaway on deck we got the emojis we got the light goal hold on i, I have i have our black on let's let's turn this shit off oh five fucking mid-roll unskippable ads ah all right the video is 10 minutes and one second long oh i keep calling them out for being fake but how do i know if i don't try it myself so that's what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna be taking a bath at 3 a.m i have no idea what's gonna happen i mean maybe from the thumbnail something crazy happens i don't know yet this is the server where i don't actually know at the end of the day they might not be fake and they might be real and we're about to find out so he's good to prove that these videos are real because spoiler alert shit does happen so he's a fucking hypocrite maybe he does say all his other videos are fake except for his because you know he's an epic gang weed Gamer. Because I, not even I am, I'm gonna have to get up at 3 a.m. and I've got work tomorrow. 
Oh wait, I'm a YouTuber. I don't have a <laughs> yeah, uh, someone who works and does YouTube, it's not like that exists, you know. People who work full-time jobs, nah. YouTube equals instant money. I'm not saying YouTube isn't hard or whatever, but uh, when you work in the fucking food industry, you know, just standing around a hot-ass kitchen that's like 30 degrees fucking Celsius. No, I'm not gonna convert that to Fahrenheit. You Americans are fucked. I don't know what you're doing over there. And you just stand up there, you know, eight hours a day, not being able to sit. Getting like a 30 minute break in between, you know, you just want to fucking kill yourself, I'm gonna be honest. So, three minutes, just cancer, stalling later. We are actually getting into the hustle this nigga has going on. Let's go. See you guys then. Okay, so it's been an hour right now. I'm gonna go back in and just see if anything happened. It probably nothing would have happened, right? <gasps> Wait. Okay, no, 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 get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, I think we just interrupted something. Is Some fucking dollar store blow in the tub. That's, that's pretty damn spooky, dude. Yo, bro. Bro. Yo, what are you doing? Bro, it's 3am. Oh, man. Get up. Ready? Yeah. Oh, my God. This is actually fucking ridiculous. I'm trying to watch some fake shit. Like, I know this shit is fake, okay? But literally, 6 minutes and 20 fucking seconds of just him fucking around, okay? Nah. It's ironic, though, so this shit is okay, even though he hasn't said anything. He said pretty much the exact opposite. It's all just an epic joke. So shit content and stretching the video 10 minutes by putting in so much fucking thriller and padding that fucking... 10 minute commentary videos are probably gonna call him out, you know, the entire commentary community. Nah, can't, cause uh, he made uh, he made one joke that this was ironic. Even though the video, the video title, the tags, and the fucking thumbnail say opposite. And you can make the point that uh, all the giveaways and the promotion that he is doing is also ironic, but uh, it's really not, is it? Like, this is like me saying that my entire channel is a uh, ironic commentary channels, and I'm I'm not actually, you know, a commentary channel because I don't have a vaporwave intro and fucking stretch my videos to 10 minutes for ad revenue. I still make pretty much the exact same content, okay? And this guy pretty much still makes the exact content as well. Just doing one throwaway joke being like, oh yeah, guys, this is this is an epic parody, bro. No, it, it, it's not, okay? When you stretch the- When seven minutes and 20 seconds of this video could be cut out and you would still have the same thing. I mean, if this shit was actually for parody and for comedic sake, then why the fuck not just cut out all this other shit? Like, you, you can make the point that he's doing all this promotion and stuff to parody, but at the end of the day, he is still promoting the video way too much and promoting his social media way too much. Ironically saying cancer is still cancer. What the f like how he wants to swear so badly, but he realized this video would get demonetized. This video probably already is demonetized because the fucking content ID system detected like some red, so it just thinks that it's blood. Yep. What is that? Mm. Here he admits that it's ironic. It's an epic joke. You know, it's absolute cancer. 90% of the video was just him being straight up just serious about this. This video pretty much just shouldn't fucking exist, okay? But for you guys, I am to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, so let's just do it. Alright, he plugged his uh, subscribers a third time. It's blood. Smells like blood. You can't get red food dye oh, like this. My, my toes have got all. What's going on with my toes? What? I'm not doing that. What's up with that one? Alright, I'm scared. I'm gonna get out of here, bro. Wait, I'm gonna yeah. get out of here, bro. You need to get out. Bro, let's go into that dark room and see if anything happens to us. Yes. Get out. Okay, I'm getting out now. Did you expect something different? I mean, I didn't. I signed up to get scammed and I still feel disappointed. And I feel like people are gonna get triggered because this was XD irony. There's a point where it's not okay. Saying that this shit is a real video, even though he's made like six videos on this, but I mean, he even uploaded this around Halloween to get extra views, okay? And you were saying that this video is for comedic purposes, even though it's not, because his brain dead fanboys think that uh, making ironic content, you know, doing the exact same thing and uh, stretching the video out to 10 minutes in one second, putting five ads in there, promoting shit like 80 times is a, uh, you know, he said it was ironic, so it's a joke. It, it, it's not not funny, okay? You could cut out like three minutes of this cancer and still win. You can't do shit on these channels and then act like you're above it and then still do the same thing. Some people are gonna say that I stretch my videos for 10 minutes so I can't say shit, but can you go a freaking brain? Like, I'm begging you, mate. I only have four 10 minute videos and even if all my videos were 10 minutes, I still don't get money because cause I can't because I don't have monetization enabled. There is no point for me to make longer videos when I'm supposed to spam because I'm a smaller channel. Anyway, guys, I'm, I'm sorry for getting so freaking kid right there. Check my description for some epic Despacito links that you should click on ironically, because if you click on them without being ironic, not okay, alright? Peace, guys.
want to join my free gift card giveaway subscribe to my channel like the video and turn notifications on and finally tell me in the comment section below